to go pick up the Urban Decay concealer for my mom. And I came across these products right here, and I told myself, I'm like, no more new makeup, like there's no need for it, but what really caught my attention about this stuff was that it says, Superstay Better Skin Transforming Foundation. The reason why I haven't been filming too, too much of my face is because I've been trying new products, and as you can see, I've been like, breaking out like randomly and my skin's just so irritated you know that like that irritated feeling you're just like hey eh. okay my hair looks extremely weird let me put this little band thing on okay that looks better now that my baby hairs are out of the way i decided to pick this up because alta was having buy one get one half off you know how alta does from like different weeks and i also found a coupon for a dollar off each item so these were like cheap they were probably like eight bucks for both of them i got the color warm nude number 30 and it looks a little dark but this was like the fourth shade out of their i don't know eight ten shades or whatever but it says i guess it claims to like give you better skin it says improves skin's look in three weeks reduces the appearances of spots bumps dullness and redness i was like let me give this a try. I have not opened it, so I got the concealer as well. And in the concealer, I got the color light. Just because I like my concealer to be like hecka bright. Let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to apply this with my Sigma Flat Kabuki F80 as well as my beauty blender on one side just to see what kind of coverage it gives me. And it has a pump, which is awesome. I'm going to go ahead and squeeze this. I love Maybelline products, so kind of thick and it's oil free. I just went ahead and did two pumps. Really, really oily. So this said oil free, so we'll see. And I didn't apply any primer just because I wanna see how the product works throughout the day. I'm like, hey, my skin's already messed up. So if it breaks out, whatever, you know, on one side. Let's do it on the side. Sorry about the baby hairs. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and pat this into my skin. It really has like no smell. So I guess that's cool. And the color is kind of light. It's actually a lot. Okay, let me buff this out real quick. So far, it blends really, really smoothly. You want to work it up into your hairlines here. My gosh, I have this friend right here and it hurts so, so bad. So looking in the mirror so far, it does cover up a lot of my redness. Like look at the redness I have on this side, which I didn't get the nose part right there, but let's see if that covers up. So far it sets pretty quick. I mean, it feels like nothing. It's not heavy or anything, but let me go ahead and get the other side and I'm gonna do this with my beauty blender. So I'm gonna... <laughs> Oh my god, my blemishes is so embarrassing. Don't look. But, um, go ahead and get this on the other side. I think I would be good with, like, one pump, but for, like, a totally full coverage, I think two pumps is pretty good. So I'm going to go ahead and try this with my damp beauty blender. See how well it blends. It doesn't reject the product, which... I really, really like. I like a more full coverage, so I'm gonna go ahead and just add a little bit more just so that my face looks even on the other side. And I'm gonna go ahead and use my Kabuki brush. As you can see, there's my acne spots are still there. So I'm gonna go ahead and just take whatever I have left on my hand and just pat it on there. And I'm just going to place it right back on there. Now I'm going to try the concealer. Same packaging as always, I feel like, for drugstore. It's just in a little thing like this. It has a doe foot applicator, which I really like. This has no smell at all as well, and I feel like it smells like the foundation. So I'm gonna go ahead and just make a little triangle. I'm not trying to like go all out. I feel like the application is just flawless with the Beauty Blender, especially when you're applying under eye. 
Concealer. So, so far, wow. So far, I really, really like it. It's way better than that, uh, what concealer thing do they have with that little spongy ball? Age Rewind or something. That used to be like one of my favorites until it started creasing on me, but this is like way better than that. So now that the color has set here, it actually matches my skin. I know on camera it probably looks like I got a ghost face, but I'm actually not gonna put anything on my face right now. I'm gonna run to the post office like this. <laughs> and run a few errands and I'll be going out with my mom later so I'm going to come back home, check in with you guys, see if I'm oily, dry spots throughout the first few hours and I'm gonna apply my face and I'm just gonna check in with you guys periodically. <laughs> and I also wanted to show you guys my ghetto ass Saran Wrappin' Christian Dior lip balm thing right now. Um, this thing has uh, been through a lot with me and it has finally shattered like the lid and that thing was in pieces. I could not glue that stuff together. So it is in a saran wrap. Okay, so tell me why I left the house and I did a few errands. I even went to Starbucks. And as I was driving, I was like, oh my gosh, I didn't even tell my peoples about what time it was. Right now it's 8.58 in the morning. So I applied this probably like around 7.30 I feel like so it's been on for a little bit and uh, that's all I wanted to say I will come back with the rest of my face on for later on the day all right so I had to get on here really really fast because I just finished my eyebrows and my eye makeup here and it is now 11:28. so now you guys are a little bit closer I am creasing right here and I like to rub my nose a lot so you can see the dryness and the redness peeping through all around this area right here. And I mean, it doesn't look bad or anything. I just didn't prime my face and I didn't set my face with anything. So this is what it is right here. And like, I cannot deal with creasing on my face. So I'm gonna go ahead and set everything and check back in with you guys in a few hours. But other than that, this is the full face right here. It actually looks really, really good. It matches me pretty well. And this is what it looks like. So we shall see what it is gonna be like after I said it so here we go hey guys so now that my face is completely on because you know I was looking scary as hell earlier so it is about 12 43 and I have the rest of the day to get the feel of this foundation you know what I'm saying but other than that it looks really really good for drugstore right you probably wouldn't think that this is drugstore. So I've had it on since like 7.30, so it's been like a minute. So it's, this is gonna be like an all day thing today, okay? I noticed that some of my pimples that are coming in, like I told you I was breaking out. Whenever I applied it, it actually made my dry spots stand out even more. But I mean, they're not bad. And once I set my under eyes and I set my T-zone, it looks good i'm a really really oily person so i have no choice but to set my face like there's no foundation out there that makes me not oily like i'll have a little bit of oil i mean some foundations is not like terrible it's just me so yeah i'll check back in with you guys at the end of the day i think i might go to the gym too later later on so we will see how this holds up. Hopefully my face doesn't melt off. Usually it doesn't though. Hey guys, so it is about 8.42 and my face has been on for a very long time since like 7.30, so however long that is. Um, my daughter is here. Hi. I am about to go to the gym and as you guys can see, my oils is popping through a little bit. Well, a lot on my nose and on my forehead, it's a little bit shiny. Oh. You could probably see my mirror. Some of the redness from my acne right here. Huh. It's peeking through a little bit. That as well. Other than that, I was out at the mall and our mall is like outside. It's not an outlet, but it's an outside mall. So I was walking around there for a little bit today. So I got a good sweat going and um, I'm about to hit the gym. So we will see how my face is holding up. I'll check back in with you guys in a little bit. All right guys, so it is about 12.41 in the morning. Okay, so what had happened was I went to the gym extra late and then I had to go 
run to my girlfriend's house to go grab something and then I was on the phone with my other best friend for like ever I love you stuff and um yeah so here I am now um I still need a shower I am a mom so props to all you moms out there that have no sleep almost but you still wake up and do what you gotta do go you guys <laughs> sorry if my lighting sucks right now I'm in the restroom obviously I can't film in the room because all my stuff's in there and my daughter's sleeping in there okay where am i going with this so literally my foundation and concealer have been on my face for about literally longer than what any foundation should stay on your face for i've had my foundation on since like 7 30 this morning so this is like going on i don't know 16 hours i feel like on my damn face but I looked in the mirror a while ago and as you guys can see, I don't know if you can see, but like some of the redness from my acne are occurring, but you gotta remember I went to the gym, I did cardio today. So you know, when you hit that cardio, you are drenched. Like, I know my makeup is still intact, but you know, I'd be dabbing, not rubbing that towel, but just dab, you know? It did the staying power, but I feel like, like I said, because I was sweating, you know, some of the redness peeped through. There are a few dry spots on my face, but I really think it's because I didn't apply my primer. So it claims that this formula is suitable for sensitive skin, which is awesome because I have extremely, extremely sensitive skin. But it did claim to, you know, reduce the appearance of visible um, bumps, dullness, and redness. I feel like it did you know reduce the redness but with the acne bumps that i had i don't think it reduced it i really feel like like i said i'm going back to you know using a primer my makeup forever smoothing primer i think would totally like make this foundation look flawless and i can't wait to like use this foundation again tomorrow but other than that, I'm really, really satisfied with this foundation. I would totally repurchase it and wear it maybe like as an everyday foundation instead of using like one of my more higher end foundations. But I love this. It's not dewy, it's not matte, but I feel like it's right in between. And it does claim to be oil free. Um, and I was thinking about it when I was running, I was like, it didn't say shine free, but it did say oil free. But towards the end of my day, as you guys could see earlier, I was a little oily in my T-zone, but that's just normal for me. I hope you guys enjoyed this first impression video. Thumbs up for me. I have a few other new products like CC creams and stuff like that. I'll definitely do a first impression on those as well. But thanks for watching. And if you guys are new to my channel, hello. And I hope you guys stick around. And yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. I'm like leaning against this wall. <sighs> I had to because the lighting right here didn't make me look hella orangey. So I was like, F it. I'm just going to leave it there.